going on everyone welcome rabbit here and recently i showed you guys how to mine dynex within hive os fast and easy if you're still unsure how to do that be sure to check out that video but it seems a bunch of you are having issues doing it in windows so don't worry papa rabbit is here to help all right so for windows you're obviously going to need the miner i will have all the links down in the description for you guys as well as my commands and stuff that you can just copy and paste it within your own files here but you can find everything you need within the Dynex Discord, which is all here. You can see our wallets. We can see our different miners, uh, white papers, everything, so on. Anyway, regardless, once you get to the Dynex Solve here, scroll on down and find the only one that does say it is for Windows, and that is Dynex Solve Windows 2.2.3.7z. Any unzipper should work to unzip this for you. All right, so if you haven't yet, you are going to need your wallet. And please, never mind to an exchange. It doesn't matter what coin it is, just don't do it or you risk losing your crypto. So stop mining to exchanges, guys. So over here, again, link in the description to the wallet. All you gotta do is input like uh, your email address as well as a password, it'll bring you in here. Go to your receiving address and simply copy the address it has down here. That will be your wallet address that you will mine to. All right, so the next step is you're going to want to extract your miner that you did download. Once you do that, navigate to wherever you did extract it, and then coming into it, this is what you'll see. Now, you will not have this little start bat file right here. You will only have this. And the issue a lot of people are probably having is they're running this, and it doesn't do anything. Why isn't it mining? It's broken. So uh, there's no parameters here to tell that miner what to do, what pool to go to, what wallet address to mine to, and so on. So you are going to have to make your own bat file from scratch. It's a very simple process. All you really got to do is open up your notepad. So we're going to open that up. I'm just going to copy my stuff in here that I already have. So we're going to edit this. Like I said, everything will be in the description. So all you got to do is pretty much copy this over completely and it'll be that easy. So open up your notepad, copy that in like so, and let's just run through all the parameters you actually got to put in here. Okay, so you copied what I had in the description and this is what you should have here. Now, a few things you're gonna do is obviously change your mining address. Unless you wanna mine to my address, hey, I'm fine with that. If you wanna donate to me, no problem. But you're gonna wanna use this part right here to your own address. So right after it has a little dash here, mining dash address, there'll be a space, delete all this here, and then just paste your address in. Now all these parameters, they're ones I got from HiveOS themselves. So those are all good. Again, you already have these in here because you copied this over and then you're gonna need your pool. So this is where your pool URL goes and this is where your pool port goes. And then for your stratum password, that is where you put your worker name. In my case, I just have RabbitWS for Rabbit Workstation and that's it. That's all you need to get up and mining for Dynex. So I'm just gonna close this out now Actually, I got to show you how to save this. So before I skip that, uh, in order to save your bat file, you're going to want to go to file, save as, because it's going to be default as a text file. So you're going to navigate to wherever you actually did uh, put your miners. So miners and miners, GPUs, Dynex, Dynex Solve. So you can see this here. You're going to want to put this to all files or it will just save it as a text file and it won't work. So now I'm just going to go start to name it whatever you want, but make sure you do put dot bat at the end and then hit the save button. So now if I actually come into here, you can see I have start one and then start two or just start and start two that we just saved. So this is our new bat file. I'll just edit that so you can see it's exactly what we just did. Paste it in, adjust your parameters to your wallet address, your worker name and the pool that you wanna utilize and then just double click it. There we go, bam. Now all we do is wait for it to connect to the pool and you'll be up and running Dynex. So I'm just gonna let this run for a couple minutes and then I'll check the pool just so that we know the GPU is actually detected at the pool. All right, so now you can see that the GPU is now detected at the pool. It took about four and a half minutes to finally send an accepted share. We have two shares sent now. Looks like my third 3090 here. Yeah, this is the 3090 in the workstation. It's doing about 201 hashes. We gotta wait for this hash rate to pick up depending on your CPU and everything. And if you're CPU mining, make sure you're not CPU mining while you're doing this. It is a little more CPU intensive, but there we go. We are now up and running mining Dynex within Windows. Thank you for checking out this video. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.